Hi everyone, this is Dan Gross for News 8 and RochesterFirst.com. Welcome to What's Good, the place where we share the good news in and around Rochester over the past seven days. Let's cue the jam. Well, since we really don't have any more time to do it, let's lead off with the Rochester Red Wings. Second baseman Matthew Null was named to the AAA East All-Star Game. He batted 300 this year with three triples, 17 home runs, 69 RBI, four stolen bases, 60 runs scored in just 118 games. He was also in the top five in five base running and hitting categories. Congrats on a great season. And in honor of World Teachers Day, office supply company Staples gave Dorinda McKinstry from Rochester's Virgil One Grissom School seven for their Thank a Teacher campaign. The reward, $5,000 in Staples gift cards for her school and an additional $2,000 cash prize for her own personal use. And who says all food fights are bad? Well, admittedly, pretty much everyone before this story, but food fight, an epic culinary competition at the Genesee Valley Home, so the press release said, raised $260,000 for St. Anne, specifically helping their Leo Center for caring refresh with a full service kitchen coming soon. And the Monroe County Soil and Water Conservation District did their part as they recently held their 32nd annual field days at Ellison Park. Their goal, to give fifth and sixth graders who are on a field trip to get hands-on experience learning about the environment and conservation. Much like me who got this sweet haircut this weekend, Bald for Bucks happened this weekend as well. It all started in 2002 when Lake Shore teacher Tony George shaved his head for charity and to support his sister Kathy, who was going through chemo for breast, lung, and brain cancer. But since then, Bald for Bucks has raised $6 million for cancer research. And the Rock the Riverway weekend, that's a lot of R's and W's right, right there, went down as the kids say this weekend. The fall event is an opportunity to get out and to learn about the history of the Genesee River. Families visited Charlotte Pier where the river empties into Lake Ontario and riders were open at the historic Denzel Carousel and kids could pick out a pumpkin as well. Rock the Riverway, they say, focuses on revitalizing sites along the Genesee River downtown. From past weekends to future weekends, Lincoln Hill Farms continues their Halloween Fest every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And yes, any day can be a weekend if you believe enough. We'll go on from now until the 31st. And they will have live music, a walking trail, and of course, jack-o'-lanterns. Ninespeak, a new company, has powered this incredible software that can translate ASL into both text and spoken word in real time and vice versa. This new startup, who just got a grant from Google for startups, uses software that includes artificial intelligence and deep learning. And unlike previous ASL translation technologies, it just requires the everyday camera that's in your computer, phone, or tablet. No ASL gloves or 3D camera required. What else is good? Photo contests are good. And the winners for the 2021 Erie Canalway Photo Contest have been announced. Judges selected 12 photographs that best show off the Erie Canalway National Heritage Corner. This was out of hundreds of entrants. All of the winners will be showcased in their 2022 calendar. What else is good? Your good news. We'd love to feature that everyday sort of good news that keeps us all going, such as... RIT astrophysics PhD student Peter Craig, who received a U.S. Department of Energy Office of Science Graduate Student Research Program Award. Bit of a mouthful there. But this award will help Craig investigate the distribution of dark matter in the universe. I'm just glad that there are people on this world who are a lot smarter than I am. And a local family, the Sirtles, led by Helmsman Nick, won the inaugural 2021 IC37 North American Championship out of Harbor Court in Newport, Rhode Island. Now, there's a lot of shipping jargon that went into all this story, but the good news is I've translated for you the team Das Blau Max. The short version, they won this competition. Now, if you'd like to be like our astrophysicist or the sailing team and contribute your good news, the team and I would love to hear from you. You can drop me a line personally. It should be on the screen right about, oh, oh, what, 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 now. That's dgross at wrctv.com. And please pass along any photos or video you might have as well. On the topic of passing along photos, we do look for new ways to showcase our WordMark logo. Shout out to Luke Johnson on this incredible design. 
whether it's a Rochester area vista like this one sent in by David Chappell, thanks for sending that in, or an iconic Rochester area landmark. Again, use that email, the team, team and I would love it. As you just saw, we'll shout you out on the show and maybe on Instagram too, we'll see. Well, I think that just about does it for this week's What's Good. My name is Dan Gross. Thank you so much for your time and company today. Really appreciate it. You know what else is going to be good? The rest of your week. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you.